It was a sure turnover. Let's go down to the floor in the brew. Joel, you've had some big shots in your career. Where does that one rank for you? That's, I mean, obviously, that's the best one. Uh, but the job is not done. Uh, we got one more. Uh, you know, so we got to come back here in two days and, you know, try to, you know, beat them again. When you guys called that timeout, was that the exact play that was supposed to be run or was it improvisation? No, nah, that was the play. Uh, you know, just get the ball to, you know, me or whoever that was open. And uh, we did that, and I'm glad we made a good play. In the first half, they seemed to neutralize you. What did you do in the second half to open up? Uh, just being more aggressive. Uh, the first half, I was just floating around. Uh, I didn't really want the ball. And, uh, you know, coach really got on me. Told me that, you know, I'm the biggest dude out there. So just go out and dominate. So I had to do it. You guys had 15 turnovers in the first half. What does it say about the resilience of this team? You go into overtime, you don't have James Harden, but you still come through. We got to do a better job. Uh, you know, we, we talked about it before we got here that, you know, we got to take care of the ball. I didn't do a good job today, so I got to do a better job next game. Uh, we allowed a few offensive rebounds, uh, so, you know, we got to clean that up. Finally, Joel, there's been the narrative of pressure, pressure on this team. But you guys are one game away. How do you close out this series? Like I just mentioned, take care of the ball, down the last second chances, um, and just move the ball offensively, just play with each other and make plays. Thank you, Joel. 33 and 13 for Joel Embiid as Philadelphia wins game three to take a 3-0 lead. The Raptors led by as many as 17.